Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I finally got my hands on one of these new Klein um, outlet testers. This is a GFCI outlet tester. It's got a digital display and it's um, RT250 is the model number. Um, it uses two AAA batteries, so it's self-powered, which makes a big difference. Um, kind of compare it to one of these. This is sort of the standard outlet tester with the traditional sort of three lights and then you match up whatever combination of lights to roughly what the potential problem is. Sometimes there are issues with these uh, where there actually can be plenty of current flowing in the, in the circuit but it won't show up as even um, on. In other words, it doesn't give you an indication that there's actually current there, nothing happens. Um, but it also doesn't give you much information. Um, this is actually a pretty decent one. This was the RT210, so, um, and it has a triggering mechanism to fire off the GFCI to short it out to test it. But anyway, this one actually has a digital display, and I'll fire it up here so you can see it's got quite a bit of uh, information. There's no connection at the moment, so it says open and hot. Um, there's no current flowing. That's the the um, the zeros, and then there's no light. So let's try it on a uh, um, uh, circuit here. So I've got an extension cord I'll plug it into. Um, and this, you can see it immediately lights up. It's not a game here of which lights are which and what do they mean, like a, some sort of a test. Instead, it says it's either correct or there's a problem. That's what this says right away, correct or problem. Then in bold letters, it says correct if it's all there. Um, the voltage AC coming out of here, it's registering as 19, and then the um, um, it's indicating it's a live circuit. Now, what's kind of neat is sometimes you can't, like, I, let's say this was wedged down, um, or I couldn't quite see it, and then when I pull it out, it actually holds the values. You notice this is blinking now. Um, that's giving me a 10-second warning that this will disappear, and then, uh, but I can read it. There it is. There was a little H that popped up that means it's it's hold um, or it's got the values there. And then it starts over. Or if, uh, let's say I test it and then I want to clear it, I can just hit this button to reset and do another test. Um, way better than these. I don't know if you noticed, but these are on. And depending on the lights, it's very difficult to read. You know, what what's this one saying? Or this one where, you know, this is this Greenlee here where you've got sort of this 180 degree curvature of lights. There's kind of a clear one, an amber one, and a red one, but there's no indication of color here. Down here it says lamp is on if there's the, a full dot, um, but then you try to match it up. But let's say you pull, you're looking at it here, you know, upside down, and then it's which way was it? And you turn it over, so then you mentally gymnastics, you have to flip your mind over and say, oh, it must be this. Anyway. They're, they're simple, they're cheap, um, but there are better options. Um, let's try this guy here. And this is an example, I'm gonna plug it in. Uh-oh, we've already got a fault, so there's a problem here. Turn it over so you can see it. What it's saying um, is the hot and the ground are reversed. That's pretty bad. And uh, it's, it doesn't have the actual voltage. What it says is it is greater than 30 volts. And that's because the way the circuit works, it doesn't know for sure how much voltage could be in this circuit. That's what it's detecting there. However, if you use a multimeter, got my Klein MM700 here, um, and let's see what this one does. This is picking up 123.2 volts. But of course, it doesn't tell me that there's a problem with the uh, um, uh, with the circuit here. Pop these guys out. So that that's actually giving me a lot more information than just some some blinking lights. And in this case, what would it be? Well, if I plug this one in, it's basically the one in the center. So I look that up, and one in the center means open ground. It doesn't tell me that they're reversed. So it's missed that information. And then let's do another test here. Go ahead and clear it. And I'm gonna throw it into this system. And you'd think that Milwaukee would have this dialed in, but I'm getting a fault right away. Do you see that? Why do you think that is? Well, I'll give you a hint. 
there's no ground. Open ground is the problem, and it's it's picking up 90 volts AC. Um, it doesn't doesn't say more or less, which is interesting. Let me turn off the power, and we'll start. Um, by the way, when it stops, um, it goes back to that original. Um, when there's no no information, it says open hot. But notice it's not um, lighting up as if there's a fault. So let's turn this guy back on. Okay, it's picking up about 90 volts. It's kind of odd because I'm going to show you with the tester. It's actually more, but it's an open ground. That's the only problem with this system, apparently. Um, and you would think maybe it was running a little low on voltage. But let's go ahead and test it with our, our uh, tester here. So I drop those two in, and I am getting 116.3 uh, volts AC out of this wonderful little deal here. But anyway, um, I've been looking for uh, a way to take my circuit testers or my outlet testers to the next level, and so far this is it. It was about 20 bucks, a little under 20 bucks, brand new. And with that, dock out.